What is uh, last week's result done for optimism in the squad about perhaps reaching the top six? Um, I don't think it's changed. I think we've still got our targets. I think we strive, strive for that until it's uh, mathematically not possible to get there. Then we won't stop believing. But more importantly, we need to make sure that we're far, uh, far, far away from the bottom as possible. Is that number one priority rather than looking up the way? Yeah, hundred percent. I think we need to, we need to secure our place in uh, the SPL for next season, and then. From there, we'll go for our next targets. But you have had such a, a good run at teams this season. How how big a worry is the sort of the, the fight at the bottom for you guys? Um, yeah, like I said, until until you're hundred percent safe from it, I don't think you can relax. I don't think you can relax in any game anyway. Um, but obviously, staying in the SPL is the the main goal and what what we want to achieve. Because um, then you can build from there, and then as soon as that's safe, you can then look at your next targets and hopefully. We'll go from there. Dundee this weekend, you must wish you could play them every week, it seems. You see, you've got some record against them. Yeah, no, luck, lucky enough, I've scored a few times against them. Um, I think three and three, so it's a nice personal touch for me, but more importantly, we need the three points, and then we can take it from there and see where that lies us at the end of the day. You have, as a, as a striker, as a player, these teams that you always feel like you've got a, a, sort of a roaming over, you, you feel like you've got... A, Good luck charm against and it all seems to go right for you. Is that, is that something that you felt before in your career? Mm, nah, not really, to be honest. Normally, it seems when I play against my, my friends in football, I seem to do all right, but uh, I don't really know anyone at Dundee, so I think that's, that's sort of like got rid of the point or the point I normally use. So, I don't know, maybe it's just luck or I don't know, just falling right for me on the day, so hopefully it happens again. Okay, you'll be a marked man in that sense going into this weekend's game that they'll be aware of what you've, you've done previously and they'll be. Like to make sure it doesn't happen. I mean, if they mark me, that means someone else is free. So uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that'd be good either way. In, in terms of the confidence floor, I mean, is it important to to respond? I mean, Dundee got a great result last week in terms of them fighting back, having had a, a bad result themselves against Kilmarnock. Do you need to go out and look to do something similar? Yeah, definitely. I think in this league, you can uh, anyone can beat anyone. I think you saw Kilmarnock beat Celtic, and Ross County had uh, Ross County had a great result against Dundee when they won four one. So um, obviously we need to be on our toes, need to prepare well, which we'll go through today and go in depth and have our game plan and hopefully it will succeed against them. Obviously you've got your good goal scoring record against Dundee, how have you judged your own performances so far this season? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how things are going, there's still a lot of things I can improve on. Um, I'm not too far off the targets I set myself at the start of the season, so hopefully I can hit them in the next couple of months, which is key. But overall I'm happy, I'm happy how I'm contributing and... More importantly, that I need to keep contributing so we can get the three points. What are those targets? They're, they're kept strictly in house. <laughs> Is that something you do go at the start of the season? You yeah, do? definitely. Yeah, I think you need to set yourself targets throughout and monitor them throughout and keep checking and keep an eye on them, and that strives you to be better. And once you take them off, then you, you sort of re reset them, sort of thing? Yeah, then reevaluate, see how many games you've got left, see how you're feeling personally, and reset new targets. How would, uh, how would you say the, the, the atmosphere, the mood is in the dressing room, Jason? Yeah, I think it's uh, top quality at the moment. Like everyone's, everyone's striving for the same thing. Everyone's got the same goal in mind, and I think that's credit to the lads. I think it's probably the best dressing room I've been in in the sense of hard work, commitment, people doing their extras and doing what they need to do away from the club as well. Not just at the club. The club does everything they physically can, and you need to repay their repay their work by doing extras at home as well. And if you've got that that unity, is it you know last weekend? Is it just not happening on the pitch? You know, why do you think that is? Um, sometimes it's one of them games. I don't think uh, we've ever had a game like that this season where we've had so much of the ball, so much possession. That's, sometimes you don't really know what to do when you've never been in that situation. And credit to Kilmarnock and Steve Clark where they've set up and made it hard to break down. And that's why they've got results at the moment. We knew it would be like that going into the game. But unfortunately for us, we, we couldn't, couldn't get that goal we wanted. And it's just one of them games. There's so much said when... We Malt left the club last month that you know it was going to be you know he was responsible for so many of your goals, but it doesn't seem like it's actually affected you too badly. Yourself come in, you know, uh, Curtis Main as well. Also, you know, in terms of adding goals to the teams, has there been a sense that it's been a sort of seamless transition that way that, that you've not had to worry too much about uh, Louis's departure? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Louis, Louis was a top quality player and he, his goal record proved that he deserved the move he got. Um, but at the end of the day, it wasn't just Louis Malt on the pitch, like. You've got 11 other people, plus all the bench, all the people who haven't made the bench. You know, we've got a great squad here. And just because Louis Malt got the headline sometimes, I don't think you can uh, take away from some of the other performances throughout the season. Like, Obviously, Malt was very good, but 
he can't play defence midfielder and goal, can he? So there's, there's a lot more to Motherwell's football team than just what Louis Moult was.